Okay, so as we found, when we, when we put those gases closer together, like when we put them under high pressure, or when we cool them down, they're much more likely to run into one another. They're much slower. They can't overcome those forces of attraction. So that's where we see the biggest deviations from ideal gas law. Gases, don't get me wrong, it's not all a lie. Gases do behave like ideal gases under a lot of circumstances. But we have those deviations, especially when we're under high pressure, low temperature. Um, the ones that act the most like ideal gases are the ones that have no forces of attraction to one another. Noble gases. They're, they're so noble that they don't even need to interact. And they do behave like ideal gases. So they turn their noses up at everything else. Okay, now, pressure. You've talked about this in physical science. When we talk about a gas, we typically talk about pressure, volume, temperature, right? PVT? Okay, PV over T. We're going to do a lot of those in this chapter. Yes! Now what I would like you to do, I will pause this for repositioning.